thank you for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Today, we're going to be looking at Libra's person and what message or messages Libra's person has for them. I am using Lisa Sterl, the Modern Witch. Mm. I'm gonna talk tonight, these little cards. <laughs> they are, I don't know. I just think I'm gonna be a messy, but okay. Barnes and Noble, Tarot to go. You know, I love my little kids from Barnes and Noble for my little discount. <laughs> okay. So I have that. Let's clarify as if we need it. We may not even need all of this, right? Because we just want to see what the person is thinking. If I don't feel like I'm getting a good message, I'll, I'll pull from other decks and so forth. Also, Kyle Gray, Angels and Ancestors. I like that. I like that. All right. Okay. First person, good or bad? Hmm. Libra's person, Libra's person. I just want to feel your energy for a few minutes. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. I can resonate with everybody. It's not everybody's story. You know that. Okay. But some things might make sense. And the funny thing is, your person, if you're dealing with more than one person, I don't know. You might be able to see that too. So what are we just thinking of? Leave us person. What do you have to say? Mm. The star reversed. Okay. Can you go ahead and give me one more card? One more so I'll understand what this person is trying to say. Also, let me know if I should consider reversals with this reading. So the star, that's about hope, faith, and healing, but it's reversed. Hmm. The sun, happiness, optimism is usually a great card. It still could be, but what could make it negative is the tower when everything falls apart. It's like sudden shock. It's like misery. Like you had no idea this was going to happen. It was just like sudden. But it's reversed. So I don't know if we should take this into consideration. So. Fell 
fire. Sometimes you feel like there's renewal. Sometimes you're happy. You keep surprising me. It's always something. I don't know. I'm really thinking hard about this whole thing. I don't know if this is for Libras who are in a relationship or dealing with somebody. Um, okay. So what's the tower about? What's the Hangman. The magician. The moon. Deception. Lies. The magician. Making stuff happen, but it's reserved. So that kind of symbolizes stagnant. But the moon part, upright, that's deceit. Okay. So somebody deceives you. Okay. You feel like Libra, de Libra deceived you. So you don't know how you feel about them. Every time I think about us getting back, I keep keep changing my mind because of the lies. Sometimes omission. When people just, you know, the part they don't tell. If you look at the moon, right, and you look at the masks that they have, deception. I'm showing you one thing, but that's not really who I am. Okay. This is how they feel about you, Libra. They feel like you, you know, you always, you're not telling the truth. I don't know if you disappear, because I'm pulling, this is, this is crazy. If you really look at this, it's crazy. This, look at, all of these are, oh my, I think all of these are major account. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. So, your person thinks you're lying. I don't think you really need any clarity, however, I do feel like because these are all majors, and I know I shuffled them. Alright, all right, let's see what's up. Clarify. Alright, not not a problem. Alright, so this person looks at you like a knight. So a knight is somebody who's kind of like, you know, even if you're of a certain age, your your behavior, your, your maturity level is that of a single-minded young quest-driven type of person. You know, it's like... You have this knight type of energy. This is this is how your partner looks at you. So if you're a male, for instance, and, or it just pretty much can apply to it, your partner feels like Libra. you too flirtatious. They're not sure about you. You got this in-and-out kind of energy. They're not sure if you're serious. That, that's what kind of energy we get in. Okay, and then on top of that, Knight, Knight of Swords, that's ruled by Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And that's really about fair and decision. So that tells me um, that your person, Libra, thinks that, you know, you have some uh, decisions that you need to make. They think that you have a lot of fear and conflict. So... When we look at Seven of Pentacles, which is um, the next card that I pulled for a little bit of clarity. And I'm liking these because they provide a little bit more detail. This is about contemplation. This is how this is how they view you. It's almost like you're contemplating making a decision. Like, what's going on with that? Pentacles, ruled by Capricorn. Let's see, Taurus, Virgo, Al. That's about home finances and security. like a little bit of, I don't know, clarify. As far as I'm concerned, I want to pull another card, but as far as I'm concerned, your person is telling you that you're deceitful. You, you, you are deceitful. 
You're not telling everything. You ain't being honest about a lot of things here. Is there anything else that you need to tell us about this situation? Because right now it just seems like your person views you as somebody who doesn't know what they want. Like you in and out, you got that. And when you have, when you pull a knight, that's like a, that's a, that's a young, like yeah, kind of young boy. Not young, but behavior of a young boy. Like yeah, I do. nobody wants that. <laughs> At least your person doesn't leave her. Nobody want a video fixing and whatever. Anything else you have to say? Ooh, judgment. Okay. All right. Your person is judging you. You pull the judgment card. Mm. It's rebirth, right? It is renewal, but it's also awakened change. Okay. That's what they want from you. They want you to be awake and change. the twos i think about balance so your partner libra is asking for more balance they're asking for partnership they're asking for um you know we you know choose me basically pinnacles ruled by capricorn towards Virgos, earth signs it's about finance at home your person wants you your person wants stability that's what they want and right now you're not making them feel that way you're wishy-washy you're making them feel like you have choices which is here because that also is part of the two of pentacles it's about juggling choices choose me i would like for you to choose me i'm judging you based off everything you did in order for you to redeem yourself you need to choose me all right i don't really um you know what? I will. I'm gonna just pull one. Child gray. Do you have any like, a message for Libra, or do you have any specific message to polish off this reading? open to healing information I think that's perfect now well, who's it for I think it's for Libra I think being that we read the message from your person okay this is the medicine guardian be open to healing information. And if you want to repair your relationship with this person or anything, just be open to healing information because this information and this feedback that this person is giving you can heal your relationship. All right. Libras. Libra, Libra, Libras. My beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Libras who strive for balance. Let's get it together. Let's communicate more. Let's not be flimsy. Let's not be knights. Let's not be in and out. Let's not always be in the hangman status. This is just like, let's resolve some stuff here. Find your balance. Find your balance. I'm going to give you that time to find your balance, Libra. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. If you want to text me, well, email me. ZenRomanceTarot.com, wait, dot gmail, dot whatever. Anyway, it's right there on the screen. I'm so tired. Okay. I, th I don't know if I'm going to stay up and read again, but guys, have a great one. Um, I guess when I get enough subscribers, I can actually go live. I would love to do that. So share, 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 share. I love cards, all types of cards. I love my Libras. Find your balance, Libras. Bye.